Let's delve into the latest developments with FSD Beta version 12. Welcome to the world of Tesla Global. Additionally, there are updates on the Hardware 4 project, the Highland Cybertruck, and several other topics. The Tesla stock started the week on a positive note, barely inching up by a tenth of a percent to close at 238.82. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq also saw a slight increase. As anticipated, Elon Musk fulfilled his promise of conducting a live stream to unveil FSD Beta version 12. This event took place on a Friday, immediately following the conclusion of Tesla Daily. In addition to this, Elon engaged in a brief session on Twitter spaces before the live stream commenced. The focal point of the live stream was the demonstration of FSD Beta version 12, performed using a vehicle equipped with Hardware 3, a part of Tesla's advanced hardware suite. The live stream showcased the vehicle's performance while running the new software iteration for approximately 45 minutes within the Palo Alto area. During this demonstration, Elon actively participated by selecting destinations and marking specific locations on the map, effectively testing the software's capabilities in diverse scenarios. Notably, the aim of this session was to evaluate how well the vehicle could navigate and respond to the unpredictable challenges that come with real-world driving conditions. By randomly picking destinations and dropping pins, Elon intended to provide viewers with insights into how the vehicle's autonomous driving system handled varying situations, thereby showcasing its progress and limitations. This event allowed enthusiasts and observers to gain first-hand insights into the advancements made in FSD Beta version 12, offering a glimpse into Tesla's ongoing pursuit of autonomous driving capabilities. Initial reactions, including my own and those of others, suggest that FSD Beta version 12 is slightly more advanced than anticipated at this stage. Although not perfect, with one disengagement and a situation where the car took too long to turn, the drive appeared stable and comfortable overall. There were challenging scenarios like construction, roundabouts and pedestrians. Notably, the routes seemed random rather than pre-planned, a positive sign. However, the most impressive aspect was Elon's commentary during the drive. He highlighted that the current version boasts over 300,000 lines of code, most of which are related to C, plus, plus, programming, and heuristics. FSD version 12 aims to shift away from this, transitioning to a fully end-to-end -end neural network architecture, enabling the vehicle to make decisions from raw photon input to control output using neural networks. Elon stated that this version has basically none of the previous code-based decision-making, marking a significant stride in architecture. This shift opens doors for quicker progress in FSD, aided by rapid updates to neural network weights with high-quality video data. Elon Musk recently divulged Tesla's ambitious plans to substantially invest in training its artificial intelligence AI systems. The company is poised to allocate approximately $2 billion in funds for this purpose in the current year alone. Moreover, Tesla is projecting similar, if not higher, investments in the following year. This substantial financial commitment underscores Tesla's dedication to further enhancing its AI capabilities and pushing the boundaries of autonomous driving technology. These investments encompass a range of activities, including the acquisition of advanced hardware and conducting training on these new platforms. Among the hardware upgrades, Tesla is eagerly anticipating the introduction of Hardware 4, the next iteration of its vehicle hardware suite. This cutting-edge hardware is poised to deliver improved performance, responsiveness, and efficiency, laying the groundwork for the future of Tesla's autonomous driving systems. As a crucial part of Tesla's strategy, the company is set to acquire a substantial new cluster comprising 10,000 NVIDIA EH100 units. This acquisition is significant as it signifies Tesla's relentless pursuit of increasing its compute capacity 
to facilitate faster and more efficient AI training. The addition of this powerful hardware cluster will greatly amplify Tesla's capacity to process and analyze vast amounts of data, ultimately accelerating the training process and further advancing its AI algorithms. Additionally, Tesla is intensifying its focus on the Dojo platform, an AI training supercomputer that the company has been developing. Tesla envisions Dojo as a central hub for training its AI systems and enhancing their capabilities. With the increased availability of compute resources, Tesla can take full advantage of the Dojo platform's capabilities, refining its AI algorithms to an unprecedented degree. This strategic investment in training and compute capacity comes at a crucial time as Tesla introduces its highly anticipated version 12 of full self-driving FASD software. Leveraging the new hardware and enhanced AI capabilities, version 12 is poised to deliver significant improvements in performance, safety, and adaptability. The increased compute power provided by the NVIDIA H100 cluster and the Dojo platform will enable Tesla to train its AI models more comprehensively and efficiently, translating into more capable and sophisticated autonomous driving technology. Despite FSD's steady progress, it's crucial to remember that the transition to a neural network-driven decision-making model is a substantial change. While current perceptions might not reflect the significant shift, the underlying progress is substantial. The investment Tesla is making in these advancements is a reminder of the company's long-term focus on reshaping the automotive and autonomous industries. Furthermore, there have been significant developments and insights shared about Tesla's Hardware 4 project. This project aims to enhance the hardware suite that powers Tesla's vehicles, which has implications for the company's ongoing pursuit of full self-driving capabilities. Recent updates on this endeavor suggest that the timeline for Hardware 4 might lag behind the advancements of Hardware 3 by approximately six months. Elon Musk acknowledged that Tesla's primary focus is currently directed towards optimizing and perfecting the performance of full self-driving FSD on Hardware 3 equipped vehicles. This emphasis on Hardware 3 stems from Tesla's commitment to ensuring that the existing technology achieves its full potential and meets the highest standards of safety and reliability. The company is working diligently to achieve a state where FSD can be seamlessly deployed on a global scale, accommodating various driving conditions, regulations, and challenges. This strategic approach, however, has led to a slight delay in the development timeline for Hardware 4. Tesla's decision to prioritize the refinement of its existing hardware suite reflects its dedication to delivering exceptional driving experiences and increasing the adoption of its advanced driver assistance technologies. Additionally, the announcement of the six-month lag between Hardware 3 and Hardware 4 projects indicates Tesla's careful consideration of its resources and technological progress. This decision underscores the company's commitment to methodical development. Switching gears, the Highland Project and Cybertruck continue to generate interest. Sightings of covered Model 3 vehicles in China hint at Tesla's progress with the Highland project. As for the Cybertruck, drone footage from Giga Texas shows numerous trucks on site, displaying Tesla's commitment to its production. The Tesla lithium refinery in Corpus Christi is also making rapid progress, while price adjustments for the Megapack hint at Tesla's efforts to stimulate orders. In terms of stock analysis, Piper Sandler's recent note highlights the potential of price adjustments to attract orders and the optimistic outlook for Gigafactory Berlin's battery cell production. With upcoming economic reports, the focus is on the personal consumption expenditures report and its potential impact on the upcoming FOMC meeting. Additionally, the second release of Q2 GDP figures may provide further insights. 
Thanks for listening to Tesla Global. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. See you in the next video.